Hey, what's up, y'all? So we have a, we're working with our owning our uh, Miller, the older version, the 225 Bobcat 225 gas. Um, and I don't know if you see close enough, but you should see uh, we had to get this epoxy during the freeze. Um, someone used it and this plastic part. The thing about these old, old version uh, welder generators is the open. So a lot of, a lot of parts right out and open, um, older parts. So it got the PVC on there busted. So we're not getting a lot of load on this machine now. So we're going to replace this and see if this is the issue. If this is where we're getting our, uh, if that's causing it. So, uh, cause we're running our 220, we're just not getting full draw. It's, it's not running 220 correctly. And then even on our welds, we're not getting a full, um, we're not getting full power. So the first thing we wanted to check was our fuel pump. We had just got it replaced. Uh, again, that, that happened. So we're going to replace it. We got a new pump in from uh, fleet maintenance of Texas. Uh, they ordered it cause you got to get the parts straight from, uh, owning or, whatever the Miller supplier is. Uh, so they're, they have the ability to do that. So that's what we're gonna do is we're just gonna swap this out real quick and see what we can do. So y'all check it out. going to be
All right, so we got that out. Um, might get a little gas on us here at this point. So I'm not the mechanic type. Some of these things should just be easier than uh, they just wouldn't make sense to outsource. This seemed like one of them. Let's see if that's the case. Tappers, what they used. This one hose where the looks like the epoxy in there. I would cut it with my pocket knife, but 
I lost my lock pocket knife yesterday or left it on a job site because I had somebody use it. So, um, see if I have a box cutter. Didn't find the handle, found the blade. So we'll roll with it. We've got plenty of excess. junk in there will be gone. We need our so this is the piece that broke off here. There. So that's the old pump, the epoxy attempt to fix. Someone put on there. No kinks, no pinches, none of that. Let's 
see there's a lot of fragile parts here. So we just want to make sure we don't kink, crimp, bend, snap, anything here when reassembling. So we got a coil, a relay under here. It's got a lot of things. I'm going to tighten it up. We just want to make sure we're in right standing with everybody. So we're going to tighten this up slow. I got the the, M, the driver, but we're going to go slow with the 3 8 driver. I want to tighten down. Now we need to see if this bad boy will crank up and run like we need it to run. So, that looks good there. So that's how you change a fuel pump on a uh, Miller Bobcat 225G. Um, I have to check again. That's this was the first uh, thing we wanted to look at because the load wasn't uh, it wasn't taking a, a huge load. We couldn't run a generally we want to run smaller than an eighth inch uh, rod when we're burning uh, rods off this. But we do a lot of just generator work where we're running our uh, Miller 2 211 off of these and we run the 220 um, so that we can it can run continuously we're not running worrying about it cycling down but that wasn't happening the 1 8 uh, we actually had 330 seconds which we run um, rods that we run off this and we weren't getting power it was going down just continually and the only thing the first thing again that was the thing was uh, was this fuel pump the vacuum not creating uh, because of that uh, broken in that epoxy so we want to check this so what i'll do next is i'll get the generator I'll, I'll crank it back up i'll get the welding machine and run something off of it the 211 and uh and see if that if this actually was the problem and we'll know from that but that's how we change it thanks for checking us out kbg welding serving god burning rods